All right, everybody, welcome into another episode of Dumb Marks Podcast, One Gotta Go, where we debate four topics and which one got to go. So out of last week's poll results, what do we got? Last week, the fans voted off character pops. It was kind of surprised me how close all those top three were. Hmm. Yeah. I was surprised how many people voted off Creamsicle, really. I thought that was going to be in the favorite. Mm. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, Steve, you ready? Let's go. All right. So, a couple weeks ago, Donald kicked off a uh, little uh, heartbreak um, R&B song, breakup song, um, and that got me thinking. Since I, you know, I'm a huge R&B head, um, and that's that's my first go to. Um, which late '90s slash early 2000s R&B group got to go off of this list? Black Street, No so, Diggity. You're going. <laughs> you didn't what? even go through this list, man. <laughs> You're getting rid of Black Street. Black Street. That whole album alone is is is. A, there's not a skip on that album. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> right. was a quick one, Jason. <laughs> Look, it's, whenever I was putting a list together, right, Jagged Edge, Drew Hill, one twelve were automatically on the list, right? Yeah, it was trying to find that fourth one that would just best. automatically be kicked off because of the other three that are on the list. And there, there were a couple of different groups to go with. There was Black Street made the cut, but you had Silk. Um, even if you wanted to go to like B2K, um, you know, there was some, <laughs> some other potential, but none of them really had the strength to be up on the list with the other three. But, I, you know, I feel Black Street is highly underrated uh, from an R&B group. Right? Well, 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 somebody else off. Was that- so, I mean, Silk had... You thought it took on there. You would have voted somebody else off. Yeah, Silk was the. It was down to a coin flip. Honestly, I literally had Black Street and Silk, and I literally no lie, I literally flipped the coin yesterday. Like, all right, heads and tails, and Black Street won the coin toss, so that's why they ended up on the list. But Silk, that's, how we're, that's how we're doing it now. Coin flips. I, could, I couldn't decide. <laughs> I re- realistically, I couldn't decide because both I I like both groups, and they both have bangers. They both have classics. The Silk has a um, banger. Still has some get your girl hey. pregnant stuff. Black Street does yeah, they, too. Like it's just <laughs> it was very hard to split between them two to get them on a list. So um I I, I literally flipped the coin, truth be told, um, to pull back the curtain full scope um to, to determine the fourth one on the list. So um all right, so Jason got Black Street off here automatically. <laughs> Chris, I'm not sure how much R and B you listen to. <laughs> Honestly, for I know all the groups, I know some songs, but enough to judge the whole group on here. So I'm just gonna pe- sit back on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I can, he. I thought I, he. I can I judge he songs, gave but a, the whole groups. No, I can't do that. I, I thought he would. I thought he would have gave a vote just based off of like the four biggest songs from each group. <laughs> so like, no diggity, peaches and cream. You know, whatever you want to go to from Drew Hill, Beauty, uh, Jagged Edge, Let's Get Married. Like, I thought he would have stuck to, like, the, the, the charted pop basics to, nah. to come up with a vote. But <laughs> if you would have done songs, I probably would have done that. But He's just bowing out automatically yeah. just because. And you see how you do that? You just say it real quick, and then you don't take a five-minute uh, intermission with it. <laughs> Is that a shot at me? That's a shot at me. <laughs> make the whole segment about you. See, I just step back, and I'm making the segment about me. Yeah. You always got to make it about you. That's the whole point of doing a segment. If it's not yeah, about you, then what are we doing the segment, segment for? For 10 minutes. But. <laughs> uh, for me, I'm going to get a, a ton of hate on this. A ton. But uh, 112 was my go-to group in R&B with this. But um, the one that got to go, Drew Hill. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, they were good, but I wasn't that big of a fan than the other three. Yeah. Wow. Hard to say, Cisco. 
you got to roll out of my bunch. Mm. Getting rid of so that you're getting rid of beauty. You're getting rid of. We're not making love no more. You get, yeah. Oh, like I said, they had some songs. We're not making love. Um, how deep is your love? But it only goes that far for me. It ain't that deep. Wow. All right. So we got a Black Street and we got a Drew Hill. Um, and a no contest. A no <laughs> contest. <laughs> a yeah. Senator or something. <laughs> it's underneath their E. That's what it's under. <laughs> I think. I think out of out of all these groups here, right? I think the one that benefited the most from being on the record label that they were on was One Twelve. You take bad, you take one twelve off a of bad boy, and they don't get the the P Diddy sauce. One twelve is not one twelve, and you can go back and listen to their music after they left. Do they have a couple good songs? Yeah, but did they have slaps and hits like one twelve did under bad boy? No. Oh man. I'm keeping I'm keeping Black Street on. They have one of my all-time favorite albums. Um Drew Hill, Lord knows I left enough pager messages playing beauty on it um for, for girls back in the day. Um don't want to date myself, but you young bucks have no idea what that uh, what that's about. Jagged Edge. If you take Let's Get Married out of the equation, which is just like <laughs> over sensationalized wedding song, um, Jagged Edge, very good group. I think if I'm looking at career as a whole, the drop off from 112 after they left Bad Boy, this is going to get me a lot of flack. I'm, Donald, I think I'm going to get more hate than you are with the Drew Hill take. <laughs> I got to get 112 off the list. 112 got to go. It, here's the question Name me two guys from Black Street. Two. Black and Street. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's your two. <laughs> There's your clip of the week right there. Maybe two guys from Black Street, Black and Street. Clip it up right there. <laughs> maybe two. Maybe two guys from, from from any of these groups. Jay, I I, I, I honestly can't. At a point in time, I know, I, could. I know more I know than you do. I just know them by group name. That's it. Except well, Cisco. Cisco's, Cisco's the only. Cisco's the only one I know of. Solely, everybody else, I have no idea who you are. Because you're a group. That's my yeah, music knowledge Lingo period and, uh, these days. Anybody yeah. that's in a group. I don't remember shit names for anybody. You're a group. <laughs> that's what it is. You're a group. So Lord knows the all these groups got a lot of play at your your junior, your junior high prom or junior <laughs> high social, your, your 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 senior prom at your weddings. Like this is this is definitely classic music from 90s, early 2000s R&B that when certain songs come on, just automatically make you think of a girl, rightly or wrongly, whether you liked her or disliked her after the fact. But he ain't making music like this no more. Oh, hell. Ah, peaches and creams. It takes me back. That's just because you eat peaches and cream all day long. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's your favorite dessert. You just had pizzas and cream the other day for Rita's because you didn't know what the gel gelata stuff was called. You just called it the white cream, <laughs> cream. stuff. Pause. You right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's this week's one. Got to go. Hit us up on social media. Vote. Let us know which '90s and R&B group, late '90s, early 2000s R&B group, got to go. I got a feeling this is going to be Black Street and a Runaway. Just because people are going to go with the, the, the flashy name um, instead of actually <laughs> knowing the information. Music. Yeah. So <laughs> if, if it's not Black Street, I will, I will be highly surprised when we tally up the votes for next week's segment. Find out next week. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Dunmar's Podcast. One got to go. And until next time, catch y'all around the way. <laughs>